So why use a camera with manual settings? Coming right up. What's up all you drone man X? Welcome back to Drone Logic. For your drone tech related really info from my point of view. So if you've con consumed enough drone for content, and not just drones, but anything involving cameras, you inevitably you're gonna run into the notion of you should use your manual settings on your cameras because you can get an overall better output, you know. And I've seen many videos like this here. And no one, none of them ever, they will always tell you that you should use the manual settings, but nobody actually says why you should use the manual settings. And I used to always wonder this because, you know, when I was flying in only full auto on my drone, I would get a great output. So I would always wonder, okay, so what's the benefits of using manual settings? And I never really understood because no one has said it. However, there the real benefit of using your manual settings is your dynamic range now what is dynamic range well dynamic range is the it's the contrast between how well a camera does with high lights and how well the camera also does with low shadowed areas in in the picture or video because uh, the camera and the sensors today are getting they're great, they're getting better and better, but they're still not as good as the human eye. Now the human eye can see the difference between lights, bright areas, and dark areas very well. Well, cameras don't do this very well on their own on their own. So if you've taken something with a picture with your camera, your phone, your drone, you notice that in full auto oftentimes. If you have, if you aim it at a bright light, it'll adjust its exposure for that bright light. But the dark areas will be so dark as you can't see anything. But then if you move your phone to a darker area, then the exposure is going to change for the darker area than where the light is coming from. The light source is gonna be so blown out you can't see anything. Well, dynamic range is how well you can get both of those areas in focus at the same time where you can see them clear and this is what's called high, high dynamic range it's just getting a good range between finding get basically getting the light areas to not be blown out to, for, to the point that you can't see anything also getting low lit areas in where you can actually see something that's not too dark and this right here is a sign of professionalism and your photography getting the high areas the bright areas in while at the same time getting the dark areas and this is where manual settings comes in because the manual settings let you control your exposure let you adjust your lighting so that you you know to the point where you can get them both in and you can get a picture like i say if you don't want a picture where everything looks nice and then nice and then you look in a shadow area and you can't really see anything because it's just so dark and this is where adjusting your settings will come in to benefit you. Again, a sign of professionalism is if you, ha you have your, your lighted areas to the point where they're not washed out so that you can see them. And your dark areas are just not so dark that you can't see anything. Using manual settings will help you adjust for that. And I, I have noticed this, in, that in certain pictures, especially in certain lighting situations, you will get this to happen. So. This is really the overall benefits of using your manual settings. Now there's certain, there definitely tactics and uh, there's settings that you have that are available to you, such as the auto exposure bracketing, which is simply the camera will take a, three pictures, one of that's exposed for high, so you can see all the bright areas in it, and one with a, that exposed, you can see the lower areas and then they'll mix them together so you can get a great picture or you know you have high dynamic range that's the one in which the camera does it itself you know instead of you having to go into the software and combine them together the camera itself will do it but again the the benefits of manual settings is basically getting a great dynamic range and again it's my two cents on this so if you don't shoot in 
or you don't use manual settings, you may want to consider learning how. And it's really not that difficult, but it just allows you to get great dynamic range. And that's pretty much the benefits of manual settings. Again, y'all, this my two cents on this. And hoping that, you know, other guy, you, you have a camera out there, you have a drone, get the maximum potential out of it. And I remember I saw a drone effective one drone aspect that posted a picture, right? This was a cartoon illustration. There were two different lines, right? One line was new equipment and the other line was learn to use your current equipment. And the line with the new equipment was out the door and there were like three people in line for using your, uh, getting better use of your equipment. But I, I thought that was kind of funny and it honestly is befitting though, because more people will go more likely to go rush out to get more equipment than learning how to use what they have better. But anyway, just learn to use manual settings and you will get the benefit of having that dynamic range like a true professional. And as always y'all, until next time.